Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one going to show you how to do a fast forward effect. I've got this nice lady here walking down the beach. I selected this footage for scientific purposes. And then all of a sudden when she starts to turn around, I fast forward it. Let's just take a look. Fast forward applied through and then boom, she's back to doing her thing. And if you look through here, you scrub through. That is an old school VCR VHS style fast forward effect. How did I do it? Well, let's start from scratch. I'll show you how to do it in about 90 seconds. Here we go. Start your timers now. Okay, good stuff. Let's drag and drop some footage in. Here we go. Now, go to about the three second mark. Let's go to when she starts to turn around. Somewhere around here. Let's go right here. She starts her turning and, well, I don't know. We like the other view. So, Command K or if you're on a Mac, Control K if you're on a PC, we're applying a cut. Go now to about 10 seconds when she's done her turnaround or 11 seconds or so. Command K, Control K to apply a second cut. We have isolated this clip in the middle. Excellent. Now, go hit R or click on your toolbar and select the Rate Stretch tool. And then we're going to take that eight seconds or so, and we're going to compact it down to about one second or even less. So I will show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and now click on it here. And zip, there we go. It's pretty fast. We could even probably make it quicker than that because we really want to sell the effect, right? Okay, good. So we had a really fast VCR. Okay, good. So there we go. We've got this really fast uh, fast forward effect. There you go. You can see it there. It's short, but it's fast. Now we want to put the, the glitch on it so that it looks like it's actually fast forwarding in a VCR as opposed to just a digital fast forward. So let's go ahead and click on the effects panel here, which is right there for me. Type in VR. And when you do that, you're going to see something called VR digital glitch. Apply that to the middle section, the one that we're working on. Now go to that and you'll see that it's applied this weird glitchy effect to the whole thing. We don't want that. We're going to go now to the effect controls panel, grab the pen tool, and we're just going to draw a rough shape here, kind of where we think that the VCR um, glitch would occur. And that's kind of the old school, late 80s, 90s, early 90s type style of uh, VCR glitch. Okay, so that's where we've applied our mask. Now we're going to work on the mask a little bit. We're going to feather it a little bit. So I'm going to feather it to about 70. I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit because it's not a super, it's not a subtle effect, but it's not in your face either. It was just a glitch, a small glitch as you fast forward. And I'll expand the mask a little bit too because we want the outsides to be less, um, to have a little bit less of a, a contrast and a little bit more feathered than the inside, which should be quite um, dark and obvious. That's the old school effect, okay? Back back when VCRs were awesome. Okay, good. The real effects things that we want to change though is we want to go into the distortion. Grab your distortion, jack the color distortion up to 100 unless you were going for a black and white VCR effect from like the late 70s, I don't know. Uh, color distortion to 100. Uh, we're going to go with geometry, uh, distortion X to about 15 and then the other ones to 5 or so. Yeah, let's go with 7. Let's go 7 and seven yeah that looks pretty good and then let's see what we got okay we're almost there but not quite there so we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to increase the distortion rate a little bit and normally i would keep this lower but i really want to show you the effect so i'm going to put it at 77 but if you're doing this for realism you could probably put it at 50 and it would look just fine and the last thing we want to do is we want to actually animate the distortion evolution click on that stopwatch making sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the clip here uh, once you do that, you're going to have the distortion evolution at zero. Go to the end and then make it 365 or 1x0. Basically, we want a full rotation or very close to. Just like that. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, that was convincing. Let's hit, let's try again. Okay, yeah, sorry. It's in RAM. Yep. That is how you create a fast forward effect VHS VCR inside Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.